Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Becky's Happy Birthday Hop and Giveaway. That's Becky of Becky's My Creative Life here on YouTube. Yeah, she's having a birthday, and I'm so glad I got invited to join in on the hop. The theme of the hop, of course, is birthday, so I am doing a birthday layout for my granddaughter. That's her picture right there, and she is a twin, so I will be doing one for her sister, but this one has the tin on her birthday cake, and of course, she's having fun posing for the picture. I'm using Hooray. It is a paper pad from my mind's eye, and I think a couple of other things in that pile is Hooray also, but then I have Simple Stories mixed in with it. The colors went together so great. But I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the hop while I am getting my picture matted and maybe a couple of other things. But it's Becky's birthday, so she is having this hop. And the links to everybody will be down there below. Also, make sure you go to Becky's channel and wish her a happy birthday. But also listen to her giveaway. She will be sharing the details of her giveaway and how you can get in on the chance to win. I cut the top paper had these cutest little balloons, but I wanted to add some more color to my layout and make it a little bit more festive. So I put the stripe part down here below. My plan was to have it to be one third. And I didn't measure, I just guessed. So I think it's a little over one third. And then I wanted to divide it with another piece of paper. So I did use one of the stripes on the paper. And most of it that's behind the picture don't have anything there because the stripe wasn't long enough to go all the way across. That banner there that I fussy cut out, I had planned on using that several times on a layout. and never could decide how I wanted to use it. But I didn't want to use the other side. So I knew the banner was what was going to get used eventually. And I was determined I was going to use it today. So I decided I'd put my title on there. And my title's only going to be Birthday Girl. And I used two different die cuts with dies, which I showed at the beginning. And one was the for a front of a birthday card that says happy birthday to you on it. And I only used the birthday part. And then I used the speckled Simple Stories. I think it's a four by six card. And then I also used for the girl, it was called License Plate by Quick Cuts. And I just used a more solid piece of the Simple Stories. I wanted to get that photo wheel in there. I like the photo wheel. I could probably put it on every single layout that I did. Well, or close to it. <laughs> because I do like adding the idea of a circle. And anytime I'm doing a layout, my first thought in my mind is, of course, the picture. So cameras and the photo wheel are like the two main things I like to use. But, yeah, I'm going to have a camera in here, too. Oh, and I got it in my hand right now. <laughs> There's two in that little bowl, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to end up using. But her clothes, her little uh, sundress is a dark color, so I decided I was going to go ahead and use that dark one. I am doing a bit of layering here. I'm trying to decide what I'll to put in my layers. And that sticker sheet there is October afternoon, and I've had it a long time. Time. It's done in the cream colors. Well, I think they look more yellow than cream. But I decided I was going to use a few of the little words on my layout. And the one I'm going to put in that little cluster is excitement. Oh, and look, I'm using my puffy little round circle thingies. Yeah, I've had them in my How to Kill a Kit with Style several months <laughs> and, and took them out finally and I thought oh I am doing a birthday layout I'm gonna have to make sure I use them so yeah I'm gonna put three I think it is yeah three on this layout which I, I've had them a long time a lot longer than I've had the paper pad I ordered the paper pad like last summer but I had those little puffy accents yeah, I've had them for a while. Some of them's got like party hats and 
um, the little thing you blow to make noise with, <laughs> the little streamers that come out, and cupcakes and different things on some of them was just striped or polka dot. And those are the ones I thought I might use in my How to Kill a Kit with Style. Well, I think I used two the whole time in like three months. So I am glad I got three on this layout. This tag says today and I liked it and I thought I'm going to use it on my layout. I'm not sure what it went with. It was just in my iris container for the birthday stuff. I do not think it went with either one of the collections that I'm using today. I just seen it and liked it. So I thought I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to cut part of it off because I'm going to tuck it down in the right hand corner. And not all of it's going to, well, to fit the way I wanted it to and to put the other stuff I wanted to cluster down there, I did have to cut part of it off. But once I cut it off, it kind of looks a little unbalanced there. So I'm going to add another tag, and I'm using the red speckled on it. And I cut one corner off and then flipped it over and did the other corner. And I course I took a pencil and marked where I wanted my hole because otherwise I can't seem to get it right and I'm using my we are memory keepers reinforcer punch so I can have it reinforced and you know I could have put one on the other tag I didn't even notice that it didn't have one I'm seeing it now though so I might be going back and putting a reinforcer on the other tag too most of those tags have them on there, so I didn't even notice that it didn't. Um, yeah, look at me. I'm getting another one of those puffy stickers on there. And that one has a cupcake. The one in the top left has a hat. And then I'm going to use one with the noisemaker thing, too. Uh, let's see. Where am I at now? Oh, I fussy cut out some, well, they kind of look like pinwheels, not pinwheels, uh, rosettes but you know they're not dimensional they were on one of the papers in the hooray and i'd already fussy cut some out and i think i cut one more out so i could have a few to go in my little bowl there and a few to cha choose from and i ended up cutting that one in half and so i put part down in the right hand cluster and part in the middle and then i fussy cut this out it's so cute i can use it in two places it's kind of mimicking the circle up there in the left-hand top corner. But I didn't fussy cut around it. I just left it the way it was. And see, I did get it in two spots. And that added some more texture and dimension. And see these stars? I thought, oh, they're just so pretty. Of course, I have punches. I could have punched out. And eyes. But these have a variety of colors. And they have stitching on them. So I thought, I'm going to put stars in my layout and have different colors. And the stitching so it has dimension too. So I cut several out. I'm not sure how many. But you can see me scattering them out there on my layout. And I think I'm getting close to done. I think after I put them on there, the enamel dots is like the last thing that I put on there. I was looking at it and thinking, okay, I want something else for texture. And, of course, I love enamel dots. That shiny, glossy, colorful addition to your layout. And I'm putting three in each one of my clusters. And I'm using three different colors in each one. Well, I'm using some of the colors twice and three times, but they are different sizes. But that's it. That's my layout. Be sure that you go check out Becky's channel and find out the details of the giveaway. And check everybody else's layouts out, their videos for inspiration. Plus, plus, don't forget, I almost did, I almost forgot to mention it. There is some on Instagram. Yeah, so check out the ones on Instagram too. All the links will be down there below. And yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And happy birthday, Becky. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for inviting me in on the hop. But if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you liked the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who are, thank you so much.
but I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.